He slapped him with a fish. Justin, hurry up! You're gonna miss the premiere! I have a few more sentences to write. I'll be right there. Sorry I'm late. I had to finish that chapter. New book? Yeah. How's it going? It's going pretty good. It's not going at all, is it? No, not at all. <sighs> I don't know what it is, man. I just can't find that spark I once had when I wrote Tales of the Hollow. Maybe you need a change of scenery. Like what? I tried to write at the library, at the park, at our local coffee shop. I even went the extra mile to write in a bar. You went to a bar to write a story. Yes. Yes, I did. And if I may say, it was not pleasant. I sure hope not. Well, I don't know what to do anymore. I do. What? Watch The Blocking Dead and then complain about how your life sucks to someone who's not me. Gee, thanks. That's what I'm here for, my friend. <sighs> hey, Josh, did you pay the cable bill last Friday? The cable bill? I thought you said table bill. Table bill? We don't have a table! That's exactly why I still have my money. Oh, come on! I know, right? I didn't even get to watch the amount I was going to watch before it turned off. I, I hate you. you. <gasps> Take that back! What happened to me? Listen, pal. I don't like seeing you like this. Trust me when I say that whatever's going on with you and your writer's block, it'll pass. This won't be your first trophy. I didn't build this for nothing. Yeah, I know. You built it for the present your mom gave you, announcing you were the greatest son ever. I am, aren't I? Well, <laughs> greatest son ever. Want to write me a book so I can take all the credit while you stick with your YouTube videos that barely pass 100 views? Oh, heavens no, I hate writing. You're on your own. Of course I am. Why can't something just magically appear and inspire me to write a story no one could ever dream of writing? I have just the thing. What was that? What did you do? Me? Why are you blaming me? Soon after you said you had just the thing, this portal or whatever appeared right in the center of our living room. I was just gonna put on my zombie mask and call it a day. How would that have inspired me to write? In all honesty, it probably wouldn't have. I just needed something to feed my zombie desires since we're missing the blocking dead right now. I say we go through it. What? No way! We don't know what's in... The Great Beyond. Way to nerd it out, Justin. I just spoke without thinking. My bad. I want you to hear me out, okay? No. Just think. Uh... Beyond this portal door could lie the key to your writer's block. But it could also be the key to our death. What if the portal takes us to a volcanic world? You better grab yourself a bucket of water and start tossing it. What if we end up in an alternate universe where dogs rule over humanity? Grab a bone or a piece of steak. Next thing you know, they're calling us master. What if we travel to a place crawling with the undead? Then I'm grabbing my bat and I'm going down swinging. Sure hope you'll be on my side. You have an answer to everything, don't you? And you don't? Come on, Justin. This is a once-in-a-lifetime situation, Ryan. The only success you've achieved is that reward, and you got that from a writer's contest at our local library. I don't know about you, but I have the urge for adventure. <sighs> If we end up in a universe where dogs have taken over, I'm letting them feed on you. So you're in. I guess so. Yay! Okay, should we bring anything? Like what? I don't know. Weapons, maybe? I'd rather not seem hostile. Good point. On three. One, two, three. 